So now I want to touch uh, the Web3 and the Metaverse. So NFTs, of course, is one of the doors of the internet, as, as I call it. Um, and they are the doors of the keys, actually, that open the, the certification to get in the proper interest in the web. So we have in one end the concept of M3.0, the context of Metaverse, which I legal disclosure, I'm involved quite significant, both entrepreneurial and as, as well as thought leader. But there's a lot of concepts here that are very concept, very, very complex. And as well, most of the people are still confusing what is Web 3.0, what is Metaverse, or the even Metaverse you're creating. So how do you see your work and your contest in the case of these two concepts? Okay, that's, like, that's an amazing way to look at it. So. I think the easiest way for a layman to understand is Web3 is a protocol on which all of these things run. And the reason why that like Web3 existing makes all these things a lot more efficient. It makes them make a lot more sense. It allows people to own their own assets, which is extremely important. The metaverse is something that's obviously going to take over the world by storm. I mean, my personal hypothesis is that, and I'm not the only one who says this, so my, but my personal hypothesis is that today we perceive the internet in a, very, in a very 2D way. And a lot more years from now, I feel like the entire internet is going to take up on a very 3D shape in our lives, simply because we have so many senses to perceive it from. And the platforms that we're engaging with would want to engage those senses. So the metaverse is something that's almost inevitable at this point. Um, of course, it has its own limitations, both in terms of technology as well as bandwidth, which is something that's being progressively improved. How NFTs tie into this is because at the end of the day, you need to have assets that you can store and hold that need to be lightweight, that need to conform to certain standards. So it's very easy and they're cross platform compatible because just like how it happens with file sizes and file types, it's also going to start happening with blockchains and metaverses. And NFT could be that one common standard that's applicable across, across various places and that's easy to shift around. And the moment you get into a metaverse, your NFT unlocks all the access and all the things you get in this metaverse which again, not necessarily needs to be on Web3, but having the access token or having your key to it or having the NFT, which is your proof of ownership and proof of authenticity, it makes a lot of sense for that to be very securely on Web3. So that's how I look at it. Web3 is the protocol on which a small part of the metaverse will run and NFTs will be like keys to this metaverse or access tokens to this metaverse, which if they are on Web3 is better for everybody. And if there is a platform that allows you to engage with something or interact with something that's on Web3, without you necessarily getting into Web3, which is what we've built, then Hashcase is the perfect solution for that as well. Completely. And I think it's that the biggest challenge right now is how we, we get into these doors and to these keys, because the challenge right now is how we can actually do it for good and different parts.